podcast not roasting hey what's up everyone welcome back to my channel my name is helen thank you so much for joining me today today's video is a recap of a really bad day i had a few days ago hence the reason we have not been vlogging i've just been super stressed and super overwhelmed and just not feeling like myself so in today's video i'm just sharing with you guys what i would usually do on an off day so one of the things i try to do late in the evening is to take a nice calming and relaxing bubble bath i actually haven't done this in years i always add either bubbles a bath bomb um, some body oils just anything that will make me feel good make me smell good and these bath bombs that i have are amazing after my bath, I make sure to moisturize my skin with one of my favorite creams. This one is by Nivea. After I moisturize my skin, I do mist my body with a little bit of Amber Romance from Victoria's Secret. And for my face, I've been using this um, CBD serum by Beauty in the Raw and I've been loving it. After I'm all done with that, I throw on one of my husband's shirts and his boxers and I get nice and cozy. Next, we're going to clean our space. I think cleaning up our space helps a lot with just feeling so much better, feeling productive. Like I've mentioned in other videos, when my space is cluttered, my mind feels cluttered. So I do have to make sure I keep my spaces clean and organized. And don't forget, you have to hydrate. Drink your water, girl. Drink your water. Mind your business. That's what I've been doing lately. And I do have my little diffuser going and I also have some music in my AirPods going and all these things just help me to feel more calm and relaxed and they help me to reset. Resetting is very important when you are feeling stressed. It's so important to just take that time out fall back, really just process what you're feeling and what you're thinking about before making any other moves. Usually when I feel overwhelmed or stressed, I have to reset. Like I just have to take a moment to come to my senses, get grounded, and then jump back into whatever it is I'm doing for the day. Another really important part of my life is prayer. My family is Christian, so we do believe that prayer is super important in our everyday lives so usually the boys and i do a daily devotional at night before bed we haven't been keeping up with it as much as i would like to but i figured since i am starting to struggle with things it was best that i do go back into reading our devotionals and just jumping into the word before we get to sleep during those years abram's name changed from abram which means exalted father to abraham which means father of many and Sarai, which means quarrelsome, changed to Sarah, which means princess. Take your son, your only son, yes, Isaac, whom you love so much, and go to the land of Moriah. Go and sacrifice him as a burnt offering on one of the mountains, which I will show you. Huh? The next he's morning- gonna, He's gonna kill himself? God is asking him to sacrifice his only son. Then let's listen. All right, so question number one says, how do you think Abraham felt when God asked him to sacrifice his his uh, son Isaac? Well, I think I think um, Abraham felt a little anxious, but at the same time, he wanted to obey God. So he was kind of, he kind of didn't want to do it, but he had to, or he might have gotten punished. He was kind of scared about it, but he had to do it. But then the angel came. Mm -hmm. He tested him to see if he would actually murder him. Right. Actually sacrifice him. Put yourself in Isaac's shoes. How would you react to being asked to go through with something so drastic? You know, so if you were the son, how would you react? I don't know. I would be like, please do not kill me. I have a, I have a lot to do, do in my life, but I have to. Alright, so here's the prayer we're going to do. He set my feet on solid ground and steadied me as I walked along. He has given me a new song to sing, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see what he has done and be amazed. Oh Lord, my God, you have performed many wonders for us. Your plans for us are too numerous to list. You have no equal. If I tried to recite all your wonderful deeds, I would never come to an end of them. 
Let your unfailing love and faithfulness always protect me for troubles surround me. Please, Lord, rescue me. Come quickly, Lord, and help me. May those who try to destroy me be humiliated. I can't say humiliated. 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 Humil Humiliate. Humi humiliated and humiliated. put to shame. May those who take delight in my trouble be turned back in disgrace. You are my helper and my savior. Oh my God, do not delay. Amen. Have a good night.